चांद मेरा दिल चांद नी हो तुम चांद से है तू चांदनी कहा ऋषि कपूर सेकेंड डेथ आफ्टर इरफान खान सच अ ब्रिलियंट एक्टर ऋषि कपूर वॉज instinctive the best reactive actor that i've ever seen his response his timing his energy is amazing so heart goes out to his family energies to his family to india the loss and uh, today's episode we need to continue as the show must go on as i said yesterday my name is anam and this is season 1 episode 3 to the baker's dozen a saint nicholas tale okay and uh, it is written by Aaron Shepherd and the source of illustration is done by Wendy Wilson and i will be back with this short message are you ready for a great time all right welcome back we are going to be starting off with the story today what is new york albany new york was the place that this happened and albany new york hundreds of years ago was occupied by dutch colonials and dutch colonials they are the ones who came up with the saint nicholas tale what you call santa claus its source is from saint nicholas now in the town there was one bakery and in that bakery there was one baker his name is van amsterdam now van amsterdam is one extremely the best baker in town and he used to be honest in terms of his scaling when he used to interact with his customers if you say 1 kg cake he used to give exactly 1 kg and uh, five pieces five pieces exactly nothing more nothing less all right so that's the way that he went about and everybody used to love his saint nicholas cookies and uh, when christmas time comes that is at that moment it was not called christmas it was saint nicholas time okay at that time everything used to get sold out he was that wanted bakery guy everything was sold out and now until that one day that changed his entire fate of himself and his existence okay one day there was one old lady who entered and she asked for the saint nicholas cookies and she asked uh, give me uh, one dozen of saint nicholas cookies so baker says all right ma'am wraps it up and puts in 12 pieces she says young man that's not that's not the right number 13 is a dozen he says i've seen people like you no 12 nothing more nothing less he says uh, you are a very rigid man i feel you should be giving me 13 pieces he says no then uh, you might go to some other store but not in my store it's as simple as that to which the old woman says you can keep the cookies to yourself and while going she says you know you have a very rigid heart unless or until you learn that the more you give the more you will receive until then everything is going to go bad and that lady disappeared went out of the shop he uh, the baker doesn't think any much of it he goes back and he sleeps but unfortunately for him from that day on what happened was everything that he prepared the cookies the cakes the pastries whatever he touched either it became overburnt either it became too soft too hard too crispy too underdone it was not perfect as it used to be and what happened because of that the customers started reducing and as years passed by 
the business dwindled because there were no customers there was no return money to be invested in the business and because of that he didn't have any money to do and this christmas this saint nicholas day after few years passed by not even one customer even the loyal customers left because it was not good enough for them he just sat alone sad what have i done what what could i do that old woman has bewitched me i don't know what to do he just goes home sad sleeps he gets a dream actually he gets a nightmare now in that nightmare actually he gets a dream which turns into a nightmare and uh, in that dream he is a young boy okay he is a young boy along with a crowd of children there is a bishop who comes in saint nicholas and the saint nicholas who's there takes out the bag gives out all the gifts to everybody and to van amsterdam the baker he gives uh, the saint nicholas cookie and uh, van amsterdam as a child he is taking this is how all happening in the dream he looks at it he is happy and he looks up and he sees the saint nicholas turns into an old woman and suddenly he just wakes up from the sleep he's like ah oh, it's just a nightmare it's a nightmare it's a nightmare he wasn't able to sleep until it dawned on him you know what the saint nicholas bag through which the saint nicholas gave the gifts how much ever saint nicholas emptied it kept filling up so he got an idea you know the more if i want to receive the more i have to give all right that's it he gets this brilliant idea this most simplistic idea that he's ever gotten and he goes and he goes opens the bakery prepares everything as he prepared before perfect everything was perfect okay and at the time of the sale he put a board outside he said One dozen is equal to twelve. Cuts it thirteen. So one dozen, he gives thirteen pieces. Slowly, people started coming in, and because he made it so perfect, everybody started coming in. But there was this one lady who came in, the old woman who had cursed him before. she was the first customer for him she says give me one dozen he says sure ma'am with happiness and he goes takes it takes it and he gives it he gives it to uh the lady and he says here you go the baker's dozen 13 pieces the old woman gives the money says you have learned a lot now your wealth will increase and like she told his wealth increased rapidly he became the wealthiest baker in town and all the other bakers followed suit of how he led this with an example and that's how the baker's dozen came into existence of how bakeries even today when you ask for a dozen they give 13 instead of 12 with regards to the story and that is the end of the baker's dozen now the take away from the story the more you give the more you shall receive i will take it from my side for me i will give more so that i receive more but i'm going to give more on that note i'm going to give you more with the episode that is coming in and today's episode has been the baker's dozen a saint nicholas steel and a big salute to this is a rishi kapoor special so the exit tune will be of rishi kapoor so chand mera dil chand ne ho tum chand se hai wo chand ne kaha